Well, as you can see, the car is still on the trailer. This is our 1969 Roadrunner B5 Blue with B7 Blue interior, black hood stripes, air conditioning, post, bench seat, column shift, 383 automatic car. Um, and it's still on the trailer because it's hooked up to the truck. And it's hooked up to the truck because it's going away. So... Let me give you a quick little story on how this kind of all came together. Um, I kind of expected this, but at the same time, I kind of didn't. So, I've been in contact with actually a, a viewer and a subscriber. Um, his name is Doug. I'm not going to give out any specifics. I mean, I'm sure there are 10 people named Doug that watch my channel. But uh, Doug here has been looking for a Roadrunner for a while. And we actually started talking before I even had the car delivered back home. Um, so he's been kind of in the loop on this car and another car and some other stuff uh, from the Arizona deal for a little while. And we got it back home. He's fairly local, 150, 160 miles away. So we're just going to deliver it. And he came out and he looked at it and he said... All right, we made a deal on a price. I'm not going to share that price. If Doug wants to comment and share that price, that's up to him. Um, but that that's not information I, I'm going to share because I don't want uh, I don't want him to potentially be upset with me sharing prices of things. But I think it was a a, a fair value. Um, Doug's a really good guy. He, I believe, his plan is to leave it like it is for right now, get it running, get it mechanically sound to where he can kind of enjoy it for this summer this year and then it will potentially be restored after that um i don't know exactly his plan and i can't speak for him but he's he's a really good guy and i'm looking forward to getting pictures and stuff back from when he gets it running and we'll try to if we can if we find a way to make it work we'll try to do a follow-up video on the car so we'll see how that stuff goes um but I'm, I'm happy that it's going to go to a pretty good home. Um, I would have liked to have done some stuff with it. I know a lot of people would have liked to see some work done to it on the channel and stuff. But, you know, things happen. And this car was bought with the intention of selling it. So everything kind of works out in the end. You know. But anyways, just want to kind of keep everybody up to date with these short, you know, videos just keep everybody in the loop as to what's going on i don't want a bunch of people to uh randomly randomly be like oh what happened to that that blue roadrunner i haven't seen that blue roadrunner in a while and then have to after the fact say oh yeah by the way that sold so anyways this is the car it's going to a good home uh there's a potential that we might see this car again at our local uh mopar show mopars in the park june 2nd 3rd and 4th if you're not aware of that definitely check that out that's a very big show um i think it's in the top five largest shows in the country so definitely consider coming to that but it'd be pretty cool if this made it up there and i was driving around the show and we could do some pictures or a video with it but we'll see how things go um it's going to a really good guy and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens to it but uh, we got plenty of other projects coming in, plenty of other stuff kind of in the loop. So we will uh, we'll leave it there. Definitely consider liking, subscribing, other stuff. We got a bunch of other projects on the channel. We got other Roadrunners. We got a 69 Coronet. We got a 69 Super B. We got a 426 Hemi. We got all kinds of stuff going on right now. So definitely consider checking that other stuff out. But I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you guys in the next one.